Welcome back, everybody. Sun Devil Nation fired up tonight. They are indeed less than two hours until their football season kicks off. And Joe Paqueno is live for us in Tempe. Hi, Joe. Hello, Sane. Yes, college football is back, and ASU enters the season sky high with confidence. The squad returns 14 starters from last year's eight win squad, including preseason All American defensive tackle Will Sutton. He is dynamic. The defense should be fantastic, and the offense should be explosive with quarterback Taylor Kelly. Now, in the preseason, ASU didn't receive any preseason love. No ranking in the top 25, and they were actually picked to finish second in the Pac 12 South behind UCLA. That's a little added motivation because coach Todd Graham and the Devils have high expectations and for this group it's Rose Bowl or bust. That, that, that's it. There's no doubt. I won't dance around that a bit. You know we we don't win the Pac-12 South. We don't win the Pac-12 championship. That's going to be a disappointing season for me and I'll be real honest with you. I want to win the Rose Bowl. I don't want to go. I want to win it. Our focus is on that one goal, national championship Rose Bowl game. Um, you know, for us to have one one goal, one focus, it's huge for our team. We're getting to the Rose Bowl. Plain and simple, we're getting to the Rose Bowl. I don't even want to talk about this point. We're getting to the Rose Bowl. You gotta love the confidence this team exudes, and it starts with Coach Todd Graham. He feels from top to bottom this ASU squad is better than last year. The Devils had a great offseason and a great fall camp. They've got the tools and the talent to make a Rose Bowl run. And it starts tonight against 1AA Sacramento State. And trust me, guys, there will be no upsets here tonight. ASU wins, and they win big. See you, Heather. All righty, thank you, Joe. We appreciate it. Hey, we Good evening, everyone. Joe Paquino live from Sun Devil Stadium. Tonight, the Sun Devils begin their Rose Bowl quest and march toward the national rankings as they open up at home against 1AA Sacramento State. The Hornets come to town thinking upset. ASU coach Todd Graham and company don't plan on any letdowns this evening. I, I, I have confidence in our guys. I think they're mature enough to understand and know that any team can beat you. Uh, I think you see that, you, you see all over the country that kind of stuff happening. And not just anybody, I mean, they're ranked opponents getting beat by 1AA teams. And they do a lot of different things uh, schematically on defense. And so, you know, for us to, you know, get high, it's our first game. So we're going to be excited. You know, we, I don't hear guys, you know, talk about oh, it's just Sac State. You know, they're a great football team. They're 3-0 and against Pac-12 schools. So it's a, it's a big time game for us. And, uh, you know, we just got to go out there and, and uh, give it our best. ASU coach Todd Graham loves the intensity of college football, and he can handle the high expectations his team holds for the air. But can he handle five questions with yours truly? The answer, now. Five questions with coach Todd Graham. Coach, you ready? I'm ready. Your choice, Tom Landry or Jimmy Johnson? How about them Cowboys? Yeah! Tom Landry. Why? Uh, Tom Landry was my idol growing up. Uh, and he was, um, it's how he won and how he went about doing things, the, the character and the integrity that he stood for. Food, pasta or barbecue? Pasta. Why pasta? I don't know, I just like it better. I mean, I, I love barbecue, but I eat a heck of a lot more Italian. <laughs> Music now, Texas guys, Willie Nelson. I can't wait to get on the road again. Or ZZ Top. crazy about a shotgun. Uh, Willie Nelson, you know, I'm a country and western fan. J.R. Ewing or Bobby Ewing? I like J.R. I think Bobby was kind of soft. I love J.R. Uh, Sue Ellen, don't bother with that story on my account, honey. We both know you're lush. I think the guy you love to hate, <laughs> J.R. Ewing. Finally, coach, cliff diving or deep sea fishing? Uh, it ain't cliff diving because I don't like heights. So it'd be deep sea fishing with my good friend Ed Roberson. Coach Todd Graham, you just went five for five. Thank you. Coach Todd Graham is Mr. Deadliest Catch. Hey, Sunday, the Arizona Cardinals jump right into the NFC West as they open on the road against the St. Louis Rams. The big red defense is getting ready to face quarterback Sam Bradford and talented rookie Tavon Austin. In this game, you can expect both teams to leave battered and bruised. I believe it's going to be a physical game, definitely. Uh, I believe they're going to run, 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 and try to take their shots when they can. They're a big trick team. You know, they, they, they definitely like to fool their opponents a lot, uh, get a lot of uh, easy, e easy, uh, easy plays up the field. But um, I think if we play disciplined football, uh, I, think, I think we'll beat them. And unlike number 25, Oregon State on Saturday, they lost to 1AA Eastern Washington. That will not happen this evening. ASU wins, and they win big. Let's kick it back to the studio. All right.